Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Are They Over You? Anyways, this is going to be stone number one with the Angelite, stone number two with the pink opal, and stone number three with the smoky quartz, and stone number four with the green onyx. So you can take a moment and pause the video and get out your pendulum and then pick which stone. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And let's go ahead and get started and let's find out if they're over you. All right, so here we are with stone number one with the Angelite and I am using the tarot dice for this one. I know some people like the tarot dice, some not so much. Some don't really carry the weight. Anyways, um, I will be using that sometimes for some readings, not all of them, of course, but they are, I think, a fun thing to incorporate into my readings, and they're actually really accurate for as far as I can tell, and I can actually read them for a long time. Sometimes I really get in there, and they start telling me a lot of things, so anyways, um, let's go ahead and find out if they're over you, so please tell me, is stone number one's person over them? Please tell me, is stone number one's person over them? Is stone number one's person over them? Is stone number one's person over them? Ooh, okay. So we have the three of wands on top of the sun. So it's clear they're launching some long-term goals and making taking some action. Let's see. Looks like they're some having some hard time manifesting something because they're over they're not over you no they're trying all right so we do have the eight of cups in the reverse i'm feeling one two and the seven of cups man they like they have options they're trying to check them out but they still have not let go of the past so they haven't they're not moving on right yet and they're missing you very much. Okay. I do see them pausing and assessing. They're trying to figure out what they want to do. We have the Seven of Cups here and we have the Seven of Pentacles. They're like, what am I going to do? It's like they have options and they're trying to figure out what options they have, but they're trying to figure out if they're, if those options are what's best, you know, for them, what, what should be on their path. We have the two of swords here, so I see them being at a stalemate, basically, between finding new love and holding on to what is going on with you. So they're really, they're trying to manifest something, but they're overwhelmed with the two of pentacles and with strength, they're, they're, they're holding back from manifesting anything. They're holding back from moving on. They're still feeling really passionate towards you, but they are at a stalemate. They are in the middle. They're thinking about giving up, but no, they're not over you, at least not yet. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and move on now to stone number two. All right, so here we are with stone number two with the pink opal, and let's find out if your person's over you. And I am using the tarot dice today. I know some people like it, some people don't care, and some people, they, they don't like it so much, but most of you do, so I'm gonna start incorporating them more into my reading sometimes, and they really do tell me a lot, so anyway, that's what we're using today. So. Let's find out, is stone number two's person over them? Please tell me, is stone number two's person over them? Ooh, okay. So, the uh, five of swords in the reverse has jumped out. So, it looks like they really want an apology. Whatever's going on between the both of you, they really want an apology. They might actually be ready to apologize as well. 
However, this person is still feeling, they're still feeling hurt and everything about what happened. They're We got, so we got the three of swords, we got the three of wands. There could be a third party for some of you, but in the center, what is the most prominent thing is that they're still being optimistic. They're still very hopeful. For some of you, they might not be taking any action, but they're still very hopeful. We have the nine of pentacles and we have the nine of cups. So It's like they're hoping that they're going to end up getting it's like some some of them I'm feeling like they want things to improve and they're hopeful but they're not taking any action because they're waiting for you to come forward to apologize I do see like they want a reconciliation I do see this conflict between this nine of pentacles so they're conflicted about trying to work things out with you somehow trying to work things out or trying to be solo i see them with a the hermit here reflecting on the situation they can't help but still want to be optimistic but they're they're reflecting they're looking inwards with this hermit you know so they're feeling optimistic but they're still feeling like they want to reconcile there you have this ten of swords. <sighs> they're rock bottom though. And they're thinking about having a new start, but I don't think they're very inspired just yet. And we have the hair fit here. The conflict is also is that they might feel like the situation is divinely guided. They might feel like that this is supposed to happen and they can't quite walk away from it. Mm -hmm. anyways that's all i have for stone number two i'm trying to see if there's anything else here i was getting from the hierophant I'm, I'm getting that they still it feels like they still have they still have they're hurting and stuff and there's this conflict but i feel like they're still trying they're still holding on the hope they still have faith that this isn't quite over so no it's not they're not over you and I don't feel like that is quite over so anyways that's all I have for stone number two if you like this kind of reading please give my video a thumbs up I really appreciate it and it really helps me out if you would like to be notified of future videos please subscribe and hit the bell notification and if you would like to have a private reading you can see how to do that in the video description below all right well thank you very much let's go ahead now and move on to stone number three All right, so here we are with stone number three with the smoky quartz, and let's find out if they're over you. And I am using the tarot dice tonight because I do know that some of you like them. And um, if you don't, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you know the majority wins in this situation. So just bear through us. They're not all going to be like this, right? We're not going to use the tarot dice for everyone. So it's kind of a novelty thing. So I'm definitely going to still be using the cards. But anyways, let's go ahead now though and find out. If they're over you. Please tell me, is stone number three's person over them? Is stone number three's person over them? Please tell me what, what's going on between stone number three and the person. Whoa. I almost don't want to move it. That doesn't usually happen. Okay, there's the sun. Okay, the world and the stars. It's trying to show me all three of those. So the sun, the world, and the stars. Hmm. It's very clear that there's unfinished business going on between you guys and they're still very hopeful this isn't over. They see you as this queen of wands, someone who's very sexy. Uh, I hate to have to move this to see what's underneath there. Oh, they, yeah, they got the six of cups underneath there. They have not, they're not letting go of that past. They're in love with you. They're so in love with you. 
Uh, but they're conflicted. Uh, there's a conflict, though. There's something. Maybe you guys had a fight or something that nobody, somebody was not compromising in the situation. But we got the Ten of Swords. And uh, there, someone got fed up in this situation. Uh, I feel like there is, I feel like there is some kind of communication, communication that's going to be coming through. They are trying to manifest this communication here with with the magician with the page of swords and I feel like they're going to want to compromise I know that somebody wasn't going to compromise but they don't want to lose you this is a huge weight that's been on them with the ten of wands here that's actually cradling this we have the six of cups the ten of wands and temperance cradling this this dice to have it to where I could see all of these different so I could see the sun the world and the stars some people were like yeah but if you do this you can't get all of those cards that's not true. I read it like this, okay? And it tells me something and it actually does mean something. They're they're trying to be, they wanna be, they're not feeling like maybe they're being as authentic, you know, or they're feeling like there's some kind of issue, I feel like with being authentic. And, but they're working on doing things to correct that. I feel like that that's part of what maybe it was being an argument about, but, also, they have they have long-term plans that they're working on. Maybe that was another part of the conflict because I do see this five of wands with the three of wands, which is with the um, with the eight of pentacles. So maybe some of you work with this person, and then is going towards uh, the magician here and the ten of wands. So this could very well be someone that you work with, but no, they're not over you at all. They're actually still in love with you, and they're very hopeful. They're just, they, this just needs to be worked out. You guys just need to have a talk. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. Let's go ahead now and move on to stone number four. All right, so here we are with stone number four with the green onyx, and let's find out if they're over you. So I am using the tarot dice in this reading. Um, the question is pretty simple, you know, are they over you? So it's something I can easily find out with the tarot dice. Um, I know a lot of you do like the tarot dice, some don't, and I'm sorry for you. This is not your lucky day, I guess, as far as this goes. But you know, it is a simple question, and the tarot dice are more accurate than you think. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use them and do this simple reading so you can know if someone's over you and let's go now, go ahead and find out is stone number four's person over them. Please tell me is stone number four's person over them. Stone number four's person over them. What is going on with stone number four's the person? I didn't want to drop that yet. Is stone number four a stone number four is person over them? A stone number four is person over them. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, so I see that moon jumped out at me. Ooh, okay. Looks like somebody's hurt and guarded. We got the eight of wands they're just very passionate oh they're holding back though what are they holding back i'm trying to figure out what they're holding back they're holding back that passion mm. got the ten of cups Ugh. where are they doing that we got the queen of pentacles Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> Looks like this person's really confused. They don't know if they should try to compromise or give up on the situation. Maybe that has to do with the King of Swords person. Because we got the moon with the King of Swords. Well, the King of Swords is 
Capricorn Aquarius. I feel like there's been there's gonna be or there has been there's gonna be some kind of message of truth there is a lack of balance there's more than one person here I see three or four actually for some I see this king of wands which could be cancer Leo and also is emphasized for some it might be Leo because it's got strength right next to it we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is. Why is she not coming? There's a lot of people here, that's why I'm saying this. The others didn't have like this complicatedness. Um, Sagittarius Capricorn. The Moon is Pisces. The temp Temperance is Sagittarius as well. And then we have. Anyway, so we have the Page of Swords, which could be any air sign. But so you might have a mother who is involved in the situation. Whoever, someone who is supposed to be very nurturing. Also, could be someone that you think of as being lazy or not very positive person. Maybe they think very negatively. They think, you know, they think negative things to themselves. Or about themselves or just they're always then you know people who are negative that person seems kind of outside but I see them pointing at this huh <laughs> but I see that there needs to be some kind of compromise. I feel like the compromise should be between this King of Swords and the Moon. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Thinking about giving up on the situation, trying to figure out like what's going on, what is this? And I feel like there is a realization of truth. Maybe this King of Swords is realizing the truth. Also could end it, could try to, maybe they, they could be lying. This person could be lying, but also it could be a miscommunication or misunderstanding. But I feel like there's supposed to be a compromise that that's not happening though. And so the moon is saying that it's a compromise, there's confusion. Why? Like it doesn't make sense and they're thinking about giving up. It's not working. It's hard to say who it is if if the person you're asking about is this Queen of Pentacles, which could be I'm feeling Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Leo in this situation. If with the different combination of dice, if if you're wondering if they are over you, whoever's in this position, yes. I'm feeling like they are over you for the most part. But if you're asking about a Cancer, no. If you're asking about... Because this one's Cancer or Leo. So um, we already got rid of Leo out of this one. But oh, we have the Knight of Pentacles too. Jeez. The Knight of Pentacles is Leo Virgo. Again, another Leo. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, they're, this this one is over you. They're actually pretty happy. And that's all there is. This person should... I don't even know why this or they even bothered putting this person in here. But I see that they're happy. The person who is this King of Wands is extremely passionate they might be guarded okay and they have been hurt in the past but they feel like they want to reconcile so for some of you yes and the others no so most of you they are not over you and some yes they are anyways that's all i have for stone number four if you like this kind of reading please give my video a thumbs up i really appreciate it and it really helps me out 
If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.